Yeah, th this is Frank DeMora. Not only do I have a prophecy site called The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth, but I also have a, uh, on my site, I have a prayer network that is called the DeMora's Global Prayer Network. And people write me, they email me and ask that we pray for them. I have a team of prayer partners around the world. And as these prayer requests come in, I uh, send the email out and they get uh, the information of what we should be praying for. And the Lord is blessing us. Now, I here's the problem I'm having. We have so many different prayer requests coming in. I can't go down the list and name every single one of them. I don't have enough time to do it but I want to take this time on the YouTube to just to let the people know we are praying we're doing our best to be faithful in God's service because prayer warriors are in great need now I'm it's tough for me because I spend so much time searching and uh, writing the post for the prophecy site but it is imperative and very very important that prayer is part of the ministry so what I would like to do and ask, if you go to my website, BibleProphecyMan.com, or if you go to Google and you put down Demora's Global Prayer Network and hit that link, it'll take you right to the prayer portion of my site. And so what I'd like to do now is just lift up prayer for all the needs. I can't go through every single one of those needs, but it is important. And Jesus is answering those prayers. And so I'd like to lift up lift up in prayer these needs now Heavenly Father Lord Jesus Christ forgive me for um, Lord not not having more time uh, to lift up these prayers and so Lord I count on my prayer team to help me in this because there's so many needs I want to make sure that all the needs are taken care of and Lord as they kneel before you and they search you out and ask in your holy name, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as it says you asked us to do in John 14, 14, ask in my name the thing that I will, that you ask I will do. And we believe that, Lord. We know that you wouldn't want us to waste time asking you for something that you wouldn't do. And we know that things happen in your own way, in your own timing, and Lord, that's okay with us. But we're fulfilling our heart's desire to seek you out. And so, Lord, there's been so many prayers. We'd ask, Lord, that you look down at the site at all the prayer requests, salvation requests for family members, for healings, for hips, for jobs, Lord, for all different kinds, of dia for diabetes problems, for marital problems, from uh, people looking to have a relationship with either a man or a woman in a Christian, a good Christian relationship, prayers for the nation Israel and the Lord you said and please pray for Israel pray for the peace of Jerusalem and so Lord we pray all these things we pray for the peace of Jerusalem we know that the time of peace is coming for Jerusalem but we know that it will come in the form of the Lord coming and setting your feet on the, on the uh, on this earth again as you walk into Jerusalem to take your seat then we will see that peace Lord so pray for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ to bless us and father all these different prayer requests whatever Lord there's so many of them I can't remember all of them and it will be too long but you know Lord who they are and their needs and father from my heart from my heart I'd ask that you would bless not only myself, but bless every one of the team members who are on my team. Heavenly Lord, we pray that by your Holy Spirit, you would find this time to reach down and touch every single one of the people who need and who have asked for prayer. Lord, we cannot do this, but we know you are the King. And Lord, you answer our prayers. We thank you for that in advance. And Lord, we don't doubt, I don't doubt, that Lord, you are working in our behalf and you know what we were going to pray for even before we prayed it. And you've been working behind the scenes to fulfill those prayers because of our belief in you. And so with that, Lord, we give you great thanks. Great thanks. And Lord, special, special prayer for Gina. Uh, Romano Lord who has been looking for a job I know that 
uh, we'd ask that you would open a door for her that you would provide for her and all the other people who I didn't mention here tonight that are looking for work, who've been laid off because of hard times in the United States or wherever they are in the world who have asked for jobs. Lord, we lift them up to you, all of them. We'd ask that you would bless them financially, Father, and show them, give them direction. I pray, Heavenly Father, that your people would desire to kneel before you and submit before you and ask humbly that, Lord, that you would give them boldness, that you would give them an on their Holy Spirit, that you've given to them to have their candle in their heart to shine so that the whole world would see that the person living in them is really you. And that, Lord, when they see the person, they see you inside that person. May that always be with all of us. And so with all these prayers, I pray that people will be encouraged to help us out. Not just myself, but my whole team. And join together that the Holy Spirit would cause a group of people, strong, on fire, born-again believers in these last days to come together. Not with a fist of anger and to say, I will destroy you because you don't believe me, but an open hand of gesture waving please come in and let us pray for you and if you are our enemies we pray for you and ask that God would direct your heart to unclisp a, a, a fist of anger in the Lord that their fist would turn into a Lord a reaching to the Holy Spirit and asking Jesus to turn what we know is a, a society that's degrading and declining and falling into darkness and to lift up those, Heavenly Father, who desire to be right with you. Lord, we know that you're searching these times and you're picking people that have these open hearts. And my prayer would be is the same thing that happened to Paul, who was out killing the Christians, that, Lord, on that road to Damascus, that you took the scales off of his eyes, that, Lord, he became one of the most influential people in the New Testament to bring in the people that he was set out to kill and and Lord you made him into the greatest evangelist ever father we ask you bless us we give you our voice we give you our hearts and now Lord we'd ask that you let us go in peace with the great hope of your coming and Lord we wait with great anticipation not only to see these prayers answered, but to see what you're going to do to bring people in that we begin to use and to utilize the strength of the Holy Spirit to get these things done. It is my prayer, Heavenly Father, that you would put it on the people's hearts that this is the time that you talked about that you need to pray. Now is the time to fast because we need to break through the darkness and we cannot do that completely unless we fast and pray and ask God to intervene. In Jesus' name, amen.